Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. So everybody, let's go check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite. And if you've been in it for a minute, I thank you so very much for coming on back. Father God, I thank you for this beautiful day. I thank you for this meal you've placed before me. Lord, I thank you for my friends, family, and subscribers. Thank you, Father God, for keeping us all safe. Lord, bless this food, make it nourishing to my body and my body to your service. In Jesus' name, I thank and praise you for everything, every single day. I love you, Lord. Amen. You guys, I'm back with another mukbang, but before we can get into this Meatless Monday on a Sunday, <laughs> let's get into this good word. Prayer cards. Let's see what we got. I just pull one up, y'all. Just pull one up. See what it's talking about. The good word comes to you today from, it just says, Book of Common Prayer. So it's just um, inspirational affirmations, but not a Bible verse per se. It is entitled General Confession. Okay. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders, Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, penitent, according to thy promises de declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. All right, then. I just pull them out randomly, y'all. And yeah, we've, we all know we've done some stuff. That's why we're not perfect. That's why we're down here. That's why we get a chance to, you know, try to get right, try to make it right, pray, ask for forgiveness, and move about your way. Don't dwell on it. Don't let it seep into you and make you crazy. Pray, ask for forgiveness, and move about your way. All right. Amen. That is the beautiful blessed word of the day, and I hope it helped you. I hope it touched your heart. Now, Meatless Monday on a Sunday. Yeah, well, this is what it is. So this is what we're going to do. Dante James, this your fault. <laughs> he is always eating this little bagel thin with cream cheese and long hots, or either he'll do the bagel thin with the whole guacamole and his egg whites, and it just got to me. So, this is a brioche bun with guacamole, spinach, tomato, onion, egg, and cheese with some hash browns. That's what we're doing today, Dante. And my water. Salud. How is everyone doing today? I hope you are doing well, blessed, and highly favored. Mm. And another thing, Dante, Walmart, Walmart, because you said you had one, you found one, and I was like, oh, mm -mm. I need me a cheetah sweater. How come I don't have a cheetah sweater? I got cheetah everything else. Why don't I have a sweater? Five doll hairs. Five. Got some boots to go with it too. 
I'm gonna miss some rain boots. I can't lift my leg up like you do, Dante. These legs ain't been lifted like that in many a moon, okay? Ooh, they old. <laughs> but, lucky. Five doll hairs. Five. Loving it. So this was the outfit of the day. Mm-mm-mm. All right, you guys. So, now I've got something to say. <laughs> I'm back to sandwich first, though. Because you know it's getting cold. Get your bite. Mm. Juicy tomato. Mm -mm. Okay, Dante. I see why you have your egg and guacamole every day. Oh, and I put, this is, what I say, spinach, onion, tomato, egg, cheese. Oh, everything bagel is on here, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. You'd think I'd have coffee with this since we're doing breakfast, but I already have my coffee. I'm a one cup a day girl. And that's it. That's all. Mm-mm-mm. So, I was out and about yesterday. Picking up things I really didn't need. A little few odds and ends. Found some good deals, always. And just an observation, just Something I saw, I'm just saying. This brioche bun is good. Mm. Nice and buttery. Anyway, so. I'm standing in line. Line is long. People are social distancing for the most part. So, cool. I look over. And this lady gets her a Snickers bar from the candy. You know how they entice you with that candy when you're in line. It just be lined up. And you just looking at it and waiting looking at it and waiting for your turn and finally you pick something up. I did not, but they have it lined up there. They're very strategic about that. They get you while you're waiting to cash out. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, and she picks up her, her Snickers and it's the king size where you get the Two or three little bars, all in one pack. She opened the snicker up and proceeds to eat it. That's fine, whatever. Not my business. And people do that. And they'll just pay for the wrapper. I've seen people do that, especially when they got kids. And kids are in the store acting up. People will open a bag of chips and get the kids some chips and pay for the bag when they get to the register. And, and she was, you know... I don't think she was just going to eat it. Because 
And she had a ton of stuff in her cart. So, anyway. She was eating the Snickers. And what I'm observing is this. Not the fact that she opened it and was eating it. She had already had her hands all over the cart, which I hope the cart was sanitized. They're supposed to be. But she had the Snickers in these two fingers, and she was eating it, eating it. Then she took the Snickers out of these two fingers, proceeded to put it over in this hand so she could take these two fingers that had chocolate on it and pick up this pink Nike ball cap. I'm thinking, oh, Lord, she's going to get chocolate all over that cap. And why would you pick that up and touch it? And then take your Snickers and put it back in that hand and keep on eating. Because now you've touched that hat that you don't know who all else have touched and put your candy back in your hand that you touched that hat with and proceeded to continue eating. I thought, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I just wouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. I never... um. And honestly, I never opened up anything in the store and ate it and then paid for the empty wrapper. Nothing against people that do. That's your business. But I just never have. Never opened up something and gave it to my kids and paid for the empty wrapper. wrapper. I always had stuff in my purse. My kids needed something. Snack on if we were out too long, believe me. There was something in my purse. There was some cookies or a candy bar or some chips or something because I was just that mom. I was that mom that was always prepared when it came to them kids because they get to acting up when they get hungry. So I always had something in my purse. But in this day and age when you really shouldn't be touching everything and then putting your hands in your mouth, it just, you know, made me look. So, you guys know I want to know. <laughs> Comment down below if you have ever eaten anything in the store and paid for the empty wrapper or bag when you got to the register. Or if you ever opened anything and gave it to your kids because they were hungry. Or cutting up and then pay for the empty wrap empty wrapper. Why can I say that? Empty wrapper at the register. I'm just curious. No judgment zone. I'm just asking. No avocado and egg sandwiches hitting. I toasted the bun. That brought out more flavor. Mm-hmm. Piece of egg and cheese right back in there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm going to finish up, upload this. Go film for my other channel. Upload that. And sit down somewhere. <laughs> I don't even think I um put a video out on my other channel today. And I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to film Tuesdays and Saturdays for that channel. I'm still like, I ain't got it together yet. I ain't got it together yet. That channel over there is kind of loose and fly by night, y'all. <laughs> it's not strict like this one. But it get there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
Brad got me. Let me see this out. And we're going to be out. We're going to be out. Oh, my map. We can't be out yet. I got a box. I think it's my vegan stuff, y'all. I'm not sure if it is or not. But we about to see. It doesn't have the name of the company on it. We gonna see what it is. It's got to be my vegan stuff. I haven't ordered anything else. Yep. It's the vegan stuff. Meatless Monday. So this is the Del Delicio Garlic Lover Seasoning. And this is the Delicio smoky barbecue bacon seasoning. And this is the Delicio Just Add Water and Oil Plant-Based Chicken. Oh, okay. Here we go, y'all. Oh, so you guys know all I'm going to do is mix this up, make a chicken patty, and put it on a brioche bun with some um, spinach and tomato, pretty much like I just ate, um, except it's going to be that sandwich. And I'm going to show y'all how I make it and all of that, because we're going to do this together. No added salt or preservatives. Preservatives. What is wrong with my mouth today? Tastes, feels, and cooks like real chicken mince. 20 grams of plant protein per serving. But what is it though? Water? No. Mm. Wheat protein, vegetable proteins, pea, mung, bean, cellulose, yeast, garlic, onion, herbs, and vitamin B12. Okay then. All right, Delicio, we're going to see what you do. My daughter said that if it's good, um, make sure I leave her a patty so she can try it because she really is getting further and further away from meat. She doesn't eat chicken at all. She eats um, fish. She's pescatarian. But she said if that's good, then she would purchase it. And this was $9 for this box. So it's good until February 18th, 2022 has a long shelf life. So you guys, we're going to get into that uh, tomorrow. And we're going to see what it do. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. But we're going to make it do what it do. Anyway, that's going to bring this video to a close. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for this meatless Monday on a Sunday dinner. It was quick and easy, so that's why I did it. Because um, it's getting late and I got other things I need to do. But I needed to eat. I'm rambling. <laughs> if you found value... In anything you saw here today, value in the good word, value in the good food, value in me just being me, then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a D's Delicious Bites family member. You never know what's going on over here. Come on by and get some more of that good word. As always, I truly believe you're capable of amazing things. You just have to believe it too. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and please be safe. Be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow in another video. <laughs> Bye.